All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. Today, I thought it would be a good idea to play around. Oh my god, it's Rexy. She's out. <laughs> Is she gonna damage the vehicle? Are you gonna do anything over here? Ladies and gentlemen, I thought it would be pretty cool to kind of celebrate the new free upcoming Camp Cretaceous DLC, which basically sports a whole bunch of new stuff coming to the game. Uh, I think the Tyrannosaurus Rex is actually sleeping right now. Hold on, hold on. Let's reverse here a little bit. Rexy, Rexy, you're supposed to be destroying the vehicle. You're supposed to be destroying the vehicle. We're trying to kind of recreate the Nublar incident. Come on, man. So I thought it would be pretty cool to play around with the first person mod by Kyodenic and the torch mod by Iladev, guys. So, so I thought it would be really fun to basically do this just to kind of recreate what we're going to expect to see in the Camp Cretaceous free update that's coming with first person view and a torch. But Rexy right now looks like she's just sleeping. She's supposed to be destroying the vehicle. But okay, hold on, hold on. L let's just get out. <laughs> Okay, so now we're in first person mode, ladies and gentlemen. I am pretty tall compared to the car. I'm just a very tall man. Hello. Um, this car's most likely going to despawn as soon as I kind of look away from it. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> I knew it. But ladies and gentlemen, the first person mod and and the torch mod, ladies and gentlemen. So I, again, I thought it would be really cool to go from this area where Rexy escapes to basically trying to find our way back to the beginning of the park using only the torch and the first person mod. So ladies and gentlemen, I thought it would be pretty cool just to put some mods together just to show you guys kind of the experience of what you guys are to expect with the first person mode and torch. So we don't really know if the torch is directional or if it's kind of like this torch where it's just in an area. But we're busy following Rexy right now and I also wanted to talk about what I want to kind of see with the first person mode. I'm really hoping, I know that they have some building interactions and stuff like that. Oh, Rexy's roaring at the para. Oh, run para, run. We've also got the para mod um, from Dominion. So these are the paras from Dominion. They are absolutely beautiful. Hello. So I do know that there's going to be building interactions and stuff like that, guys. There's a slew of updates coming in this free update. A lot of quality life improvements, especially with sandbox mode. Sandbox mode actually being an actual sandbox mode now. Whereas dinosaurs will be completely free and you won't need scientists to no longer research dinosaurs guys So you won't need scientists in sandbox mode and you won't need to unlock all the dinosaurs for sandbox mode as well So that's pretty cool. So there are building interactions But ladies and gentlemen what I would really really and I'm hoping to see because it's practically built into the game already is I'd like to see some reactions between the first person mode and the dinosaurs so say for example all guests in your park can be killed by any dinosaur. All guests. Every single NPC that is a guest can be killed by a dinosaur. So my thinking is, how hard could it be to take that system and apply it to the first person mode so that when you are in first person mode, dinosaurs react as you are a human being. And you get chased by them and you have to run through the bushes and stuff like that, you know? you got to go through all these trees, which, good grief. Oh! Oh, dude, he just came out of nowhere. Hello there. Hello. I mean, just with first person mode, ladies and gentlemen, just look how dense everything is. The trees, everything. And look, okay, so I'm going to switch the, the torch off. And this is kind of what it looks like without the torch right now. I mean, it's dark and we are at nighttime. But with this mod, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, it is just an area light. So I would also like to see with the first person mode coming in the free Camp Cretaceous update, I would like to see, again, some interactions with the dinosaurs, some reactions from them, you know, actually being able to be hunted by the dinosaurs. Um, but I'd also like to see some directional light from the torch, it actually being a torch instead of it just being a light around your character or the camera. In this case, this is just, I basically just an apparition. I'm a ghost, guys. I'm, I'm floating around on this beautiful island. The dinosaurs don't give a damn about me because they can't actually see me. Oh, we got an alarm going off here, guys. And I hear dinosaurs. Oh, we better put off. Oh, we gotta put off the torch. We don't want it to be seen by the dinosaurs. Oh, this is creepy. And obviously, with the uh, with the first person mod, you can crouch and stuff. I wonder if crouch will actually be a thing, and you can actually jump as well, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so I wonder if it will be an actual thing. And I also wonder about the first person mode. Are you gonna be able to go this close up to stuff? You see, because. Basically what's happening right now with the mod is I'm using a no clip mode So if I wanted to actually go into the building and you know to see what's inside even though there's nothing inside there Okay, um, you can basically use no clip mode But if I don't have no clip mode on and I go say for example out here and I want to go into the trees You can't really go into the trees 
And another example is the buildings. Unfortunately, oh, wait, hold on. Oh, this building's... Okay, so you can basically see there's like an invisible barrier. So this building's actually pretty cool where it lets you walk quite close up to it. But as you can see, you can't go past this line. But if I choose the no clip mode, I can go back here and have a look at all the stuff going on down here. Oh, there's a nice fire over there. The fire graphics are not too bad. Ladies and gentlemen, this is, this is a top-down park builder. The graphics are absolutely phenomenal for a top-down park builder. This is kind of crazy, actually, ladies and gentlemen. But like I said, I would really like to see some interaction between the dinosaurs and actually being able to physically go up to these buildings as close as possible. I hope that there is no limit to actually being able to do that, you know? I want another example. Like, you can't really go through this stuff, even though you kind of should be able to. So there we go. Now, put no clip mode and you can go through. So ladies and gentlemen, the first person, oh, there's a park tour. Oh, look, there's a park tour going on, guys. So, I mean, another one of the things about the first person mode is basically park interaction. You will be able to go up to like viewing points and obviously tours and stuff like that. And there will be a prompt that will come up on the screen and you'll be able to enter it via first person mode. I'm not too certain how much of the park you can basically maintain via first person mode. Oh, there's the beginning of the park. Let's see if we can get, well, we can get through there with the no clip mode. Yes, we can. So I'm not too certain how much of the park you can actually maintain via the first person mode, but it, hey guys, it's exciting to see on the 8th what is gonna be actually possible with first person mode. I'm truly excited for it, and I really thought that this would be quite a cool idea just to show you guys sorta of, kinda how it would look, you know? I mean, this is sorta of, kinda of representing the first person mode coming to Jurassic World Evolution by the Camp Cretaceous DLC. Oh, this place is all broken and stuff. Everything is damaged. I think this is the only thing operating because I wanted to make sure it was operating so we had the park tours going. So I could use a park tour vehicle to start the video. Vehicle under threat. Ooh, somebody is under threat. This is the beginning of the park, guys. Hey, there's people. Hey, what's up? Yeah, there's dinosaurs escaped. Guys, you guys probably should leave the park. It's very dangerous right here. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go to the beginning where the waterfall is. I just want to show you guys that you can really do quite a bit with the actual mods through PC. But you know what's an awesome thing, guys, about the free update coming with first-person mode? Is that you guys that are playing consoles that can't, unfortunately, use mods, you guys get to experience at least somewhat of what these mods have brought to Jurassic World Evolution 1 and 2. Um... In the past couple of years and, and and you know what guys there's some major quality of life improvements coming to the game that we have been begging for as a sandbox builder myself i generally just play sandbox all right we're checking out the lagoon so as i was saying guys with the sandbox i'm, I'm pretty much a sandbox player myself and with all these improvements coming like not needing to use scientists what the oh hello hello there big bird <laughs> he's just you're just wandering around and what <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he goes. There he goes. Man, what a shot. What a shot. It's so beautiful, man. Oh, he's landing, guys. Let's actually go. Oh, he landed on the little post. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello there. Oh, guys, that is absolutely beautiful. So beautiful. Look at all these triodons. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have dinosaurs that have seemed to escape. Hello. <laughs> Man, guys, look at the lighting of this game. Can you imagine with the torch how cool it's going to be? All right, he's going through. You see, this is directional light, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I'm talking about, directional light. The light coming from the actual vehicle is directional light. And this is what I'd love to see from the torch, guys, uh, that's coming to the first-person mode. So I really hope that it's going to be directional. I'm actually almost certain that it's going to be directional. But again, like I was saying with sandbox mode, guys, there's been a lot of limitations with sandbox mode. In fact, sandbox in JWE was not really a sandbox, and neither was it in JWE 2. Um, you have to basically play the campaign and stuff to unlock various dinosaurs. Oh! Is that a Velociraptor? Oh, hello! Oh, hello, beautiful! Oh, wow! That's not a Velociraptor, that's a Herrera! Herrerasaurus, I think. I, ladies and gentlemen, I've never been able to really say the name, so I just call it a Herrera. <laughs> Look at them, they're so freaking cool! So, I mean, this is really great to represent what could basically be coming on the 8th guys I'm re and you know what it might even be just a little better oh look at this absolutely stunning absolutely stunning
But like I said, guys, it could actually be better. There could be a lot more interaction, especially with the dinosaurs and stuff like that. And this is something that I'm very excited to see. I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping to see some dinosaur interactions. It's just something that I really, really want to see. You know, with this first person mod, the only thing it's really missing with first person is dinosaur interaction is basically having to run away from dinosaurs and stuff. The grass is very tall. I've noticed this is very freaking tall. I just want to be able to run away from dinosaurs, okay, in first person mode. How freaking cool would it be if a Tyrannosaurus Rex is chasing you right now and you're like, oh my god, you gotta run away! Uh, you know, it would be pretty epic, man. It would make it so much better better than just being able to go into first person but beggars cannot be choosers ladies and gentlemen we are getting a free update it's coming with dinosaurs a hell of a lot of quality of life improvements to the game including sandbox making sandbox an actual sandbox itself and first person mode i mean we've been wanting first person mode ever since jurassic world evolution and you know what guys it's finally coming hello there galley oh you're looking very very pretty Guys, the graphics in Jurassic World Evolution 2 is fantastic. And just to see it in first-person mode and for you console players to be able to play with the first-person mode is pretty epic in and itself. So, ladies and gentlemen, with that said, I wanted to make this video pretty short just to show you guys what it could sort of look like and stuff like that. If you guys liked the video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, consider subscribing. And let me know down in the comments below, what do you guys look forward to the most with this free Camp Cretaceous update coming on the 8th of March? Ladies and gentlemen, with that said, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.